Eve Gleason's blocked punt in the dome coming game will forever be remembered as one of the greatest sports moments in our city's history. In 2011, Gleason was diagnosed with ALS. He has since become a champion for all causes dealing with Lou Gehrig's disease. His foundation, Team Gleason, has a motto, awesome ain't easy. And it's true because during Hurricane Ida, they did something awesome and it certainly wasn't easy. Awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for his work with ALS, former Saints legend Steve Gleason has helped thousands of people through his Team Gleason Foundation. He's doing things now that are going to impact people for generations to come. Those with specific health needs, like Steve, require special care during times of emergency, times we're dealing with right now during Ida's aftermath. People that have ALS, no matter where they are on the progression, you're looking at people that, that are vent dependent on a ventilator or BiPAP, transportation. People that are in wheelchairs require specific transportation. The needs are above and beyond your average person, and it's been tough, but we've been fortunate that we have a big community. We have a great team and Team Gleason, a great leadership, and we've been able to help as many people as we can, and we continue, we'll continue to help more people. In the days after the storm, Team Gleason helped an ALS patient who rode out Ida in Chalmette. Harley Krinsman posted on social media that Team Gleason helped her mother, who's battling ALS, get in touch with St. Bernard Parish leadership to help get gas for her generator, which was running low on fuel. With only one gas station currently opened in Chalmette, Parish President Guy McGinnis, Sheriff Jimmy Pullman, and Councilwoman Carrie Calais sprung into action. And within one hour, the generator was gassed up. They took action, and we're proud to be a part of that. And it's, it's actually uh, something good happening at a time of, of destruction. As for Steve Gleason, who did not evacuate for Ida, well, he, his wife Michelle, and their two children are posting goodwill messages and updates on social media. They're doing well. Uh, I was over there earlier today, and uh, Michelle and Steve are making the best of it. Steve had a huge smile on his face, and you know they had some sig significant amount of roof damage, uh, but Michelle uh, did not waste any time to uh, get on the roof and fix it. And uh, they're, they're stable, and, and they're good right now, just enjoying the time with their family.